Turned on some music to start my day And lost myself in a familiar song I closed my eyes and I slipped away Like the portal over there, you know that. Yeah. Okay. So then we're gonna have that open, and this open, and then I'm gonna have my portals here, and you're gonna go up there and stand on the brick or the the button, so it gets rid of this little blue thing. <laughs> just, just listen to me. Okay? I don't even know what the end goal is. <laughs> my name is Opal Walden, and I've been studying quantum mechanics. The thing I found most interesting in all of this is quantum splitters. They can split a neutron and it'll still be a complete neutron. I don't have the money to buy a quantum splitter or make one, but I have made this example. As you can see, the neutron currently has a positive spin. Once it passes this line, magnets can cause the neutron to then have a negative spin. This works both ways. Looking at my lower model, you will notice that I have it set so that there is one positive spin split and one negative spin split. This is like if you had a glass of water that was completely full and completely empty. You'll also notice this weird squiggly line. That is an interference. If the interference only accepts positive splits, then the positive split will go through and the negative split will be reabsorbed. That was a brief description of a quantum splitter. Thank you.
and I made this. Its name's Bella, and I'm really proud of what I did. I painted it, and first you do the background, then you do this, then you do the little cup, and then you make the um, little heart. Thank you for watching. Hello everybody, and before I get started talking about this amazing art piece that some of the Comanche Elementary students made, we want to thank all teachers and parents who helped us get through this interesting year. Well, my name is Sophia O'Dell, and I'm in the fifth grade. My school is Comanche Elementary. Just recently, we learned about the artist, Thank You X. We got to see some of his fantastic murals. He taught us when people come together, great things can happen. Now, thank you for listening. It's Evelyn Navarez. I came from Comanche Elementary, and I am a sixth grader. My artwork is uh, Egypt themed, and I decided to go with the golden theme since it's a pharaoh, and pharaohs usually have more of an expensive type and more, more like this. I feel good about this. I'm not disappointed in like, uh, like all my other <laughs> paintings since this is school. So I don't feel ba uh, f bad about it. I feel pretty good about it. Hello, my name is Dulce Riso. I come from uh, Comanche Elementary. I am in sixth grade. I have my artwork is an O'Keefe flower. It is from oil pastels. I really like it, honestly. I just feel like I would have added more yellow color here. Um, the goal was just to show a flower, I guess. And yeah, I feel pretty good about it. Hello, my name is Camille Hanlon. I go to Comanche Elementary. I'm in fifth grade. And this artwork title is Underwater Seascape. Uh, I used color, I mean, I used water paints, and uh, I guess it's, I tried to use a lot of blue, just so you could, I guess, see what it's more like in the ocean. Uh, I did an octopus and a crab, no idea why, and I feel pretty good about it, I mean, it's okay, I guess. The color blended pretty okay, and that's all. Hello, my name is Aubrey, and I go to, to Comanche Elementary. My teacher is Mrs. Hepper, and I made the fruit bowl. Um, I used Serpy and as that outline, and I used watercolor to color it in. Um, my goal of the art was to make it as colorful as possible, and I feel like out of ten, I would say it's an eight point five. Hello, my name. My name is Dominic. I am from Comanche Elementary, sixth grade. Here's my artwork. It was supposed to be crayons, and it's a 3D dimensional. It was supposed to make the different highlights, and I feel really good about my artwork. Hi, my name is Camilla. I'm from Element Comanche Elementary School. I'm in fourth grade, and we did this piece of draw, uh, this piece of artwork, and um. And we were working on to make something like transparent. And so we did the vase. Um, and we added some white, like I added some white detail so it looked transparent. And then I made my beautiful flowers. And I really feel proud of this work because um, I worked really hard on it. And I'm very proud of it. And it looks good. Thank you for your time. Thanks for listening. Hello, my name is Stephanie Hernandez and I go to Comanche Elementary and I'm in fifth grade. And my artwork is called Underwater Sea Scrape. And the media that I used were crayons and markers. And I, when I was making my artwork, I wanted to make it stand out by adding some stripes and some sea animals. And I feel pretty good about my artwork. Oh, my name is Kelsey and I am in fourth grade. This is my hamburger um, art title. And I use it out of construction paper and um, nice pen. 
and well um, I like this piece of art because it didn't take me it took me a little bit of time to make but it was a nice it was a, it was a definitely a piece of artwork that I've never done before because I don't really like doing like food artwork but I don't like it but I I will do it it's fun so um my the goal of the art was technically just to be a hamburger and I uh, I feel about this artwork that it's a very nice artwork I like it and it's good hi my name is Michael and I'm from Comanche Elementary I made a silly bird with watercolors and a sharpie hello my name is Sophia Odell and my school is Comanche Elementary I'm in the fifth grade and the title of this art piece is Underwater Seascape. As my media, I use colored pencils, um, highlighted markers, and just regular uh, Sharpies. And uh, this is supposed to be myself in the water and just kind of exploring the area as I want to do in my uh, future is kind of explore the world just like she's exploring this the ocean. And so the goal of this was to make it look like myself. I like to have parts of my personality and my appearance in my art pieces so it really uh, is personalized. And I'm actually proud of this art piece. <laughs> I worked really hard on it. I would bring it home and work on it for a couple hours to really get it perfect because this piece meant a lot to me. So thank you for listening. Hi, I'm Abram from Comanche Elementary in the first grade. I made a Japanese doll soda and stuffed it. Hello, my name is Desiree. Um, I go to Comanche Elementary in grade six. This is a Brianna McCarthy artwork. Um, I used crayons. And my goal was to make this look as unique as possible, like the eyebrows, the star, the lips and the earring and i think i did fairly well my name is devil and i'm from comanche elementary and i made a pair on a table this is audrey and i'm from comanche elementary and i'm in third grade and uh, we were working on patterns so i made a pattern on the umbrella and uh, her na this name of the umbrella of the um work is girl with the umbrella under the rainbow and i and we were and we were like really working hard and it took me a few it took me two days but it turned out really beautiful i like it hi my name is mia i am from Comanche. i'm in fourth grade my artwork title is called the bowl i took a lot of time on it maybe like two days i don't remember but um the goal of different shapes on the back one that our teachers show what to do. And I feel proud of myself that I did a good job. And yeah, thank you for watching. My name is Jesus and I'm in Comanche. I'm in third grade. And I made a pizza and it's 3D and it's pop art. Um, hola, mi, nom mi nombre is Olvin. Uh, estudio en la escuela Comanche Elementary. Uh, estoy en el grado sexto. Uh, mi título de arte es el perro azul. Uh, usé marcadores para pintarlo y mi arte, pues quise que me quedara un poco bueno. Entonces, y. y, y uh, mi meta fue de, de que me quedara un poco mejor que, que el que tengo ahorita y, y, y me pare, mi arte me parece bueno y pues quisiera que me quedara un poco mejor.
Every year, thousands of children are scalded in stovetop accidents. This can happen when a pot full of hot liquid is left unattended on the stove. So I invented a device to help solve this problem. I made the safety pot. It has a built-in sensor that can detect when the handle is over the edge of the stove, like so. Uh, first, an indicator light will come on to warn you of the danger, 
then after 10 seconds, a buzzer will go off to draw your attention to it even more. And the buzzer just went off. So, this is to prevent your child from pulling the handle of the pot over while it has hot liquids in it, therefore burning themselves with it. The pot also has a coating on the handle and the other handle as well, which uh, will turn red when it's too hot to touch to prevent you from just burning your hand normally. I believe my safety pot could be very useful in stopping easily prevented burns in the kitchen.
We are the Shawnee Mission Northwest Women's Combined Ensemble, and we will be singing Oh Dear What Can the Matter Be by Rents and When I Think of You by Farnell.
Hello, my name is Jovian and, I, and I'm in fifth grade. My plan is for a device I call the internal incinerator. First, the stuff goes in here, and the fumes releases along with the particles are tracked. The particles are tracked to the magnet and go into this. The fumes go up through filters, through, through turbines to generate power and out through this grate. The power from the turbines can be stored in this battery for later use, powers the electromagnetic magnetic magnet, and the incinerator. The control center is here. I invented this to deal with pollution and, and energy conservation is also needed. I thought it would be it would be good to use to power large cities to have lots of garbage and energy short, short, shortages.
Hi, my name is Annabelle Huxtable, and I am a senior at Shawnee Mission East. Hello, my name is Ola Washington Kogan, and I am senior at Shawnee Mission South. We both participate in the Medical Signature Program at the Center of Academic Achievement and are both enrolled in Medical Science II, as well as Medical Research with Dr. Fry. Our study examined the effects of social media usage in teenagers on their mental well-being with a focus on how it changed during the COVID-19 pandemic. We chose this topic because both of us have experienced a social media increase for us and we wanted to see on a bigger scale how that looked because it has affected our mental health and we wanted to see if anybody else was going through those tough times because mental health is such a prominent thing right now as well as social media with more apps being created we just wanted to see the difference our study aimed at identifying the impact of the pandemic on the amount of time spent on social media and whether the increased time has negative impact on our mental well-being. We developed a survey which consisted of 19 questions. The survey was given to junior and senior students at Shawnee Mission South High School and Shawnee Mission East High School. The questions addressed how much time the respondents spent on social media, which platform they use most often, and the impact social media has on our social and mental well-being. Our study brought preliminary evidence that may help determine social media's impact on teenagers well-being during the pandemic our data showed a correlation between the increased use of social media during the pandemic and negative feeling of mental well-being overall 74.4 percent of participants stated that their usage increased since the start of the pandemic the data also showed a correlation of feeling of poor well-being and social media. Our findings suggest that there is a link between social media use and negative feelings of mental well-being.
is Mikram World. I am a 7th grade student of Beth Richards at Indian Woods Middle School. Um, for my science fair experiment, I tested the efficiency of four different types of masks using uh, face masks using smoke. So I tested a bandana, a surgical mask, a cotton mask, uh, and a buff. Uh, using the data that I collected, I came up with percentages for how much of that smoke got through the mask. Uh, and using those percentages and the data that I collected, I uh, made an educated guess on which mask would be um, most helpful against the coronavirus. Um, I researched um, a lot about the coronavirus and how it works to understand how a mask helps you against it. Thank you. Hello, we are the Indian Woods Group A Percussion Ensemble. Our group is a mix of 7th and 8th grade students. This is Alice Flannery, Drew Galehouse, Melanie Gardner, Shay DeSalvo, and I'm Ben Campbell.
Today we will be playing Mi Cha Cha Pati by Lalo Davila. Thank you for listening to our performance today.